What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Man, oh man, do we have a special treat for you. All of you guys out there that follow me, thank you so much for 33,000 subscribers. We are growing every single day and it's all thanks to you. But we all know that going fast is an adventure. <laughs> Those of you that follow me know that we've had some trouble out of the twin turbo Mustang chasing an eight second quarter mile pass. We will get there. Going to lead us into this video. I've got something really exotic and special to show you. I'm very excited. Without further ado and rambling on, let's spin the camera, show you what we got. Cats out of the bag, CA Corvette, the new hotness. Look at that color, oh my goodness. We're calling this Accelerate Yellow. It's got like a lime hint to it. It is absolutely breathtaking, but it's not mine. We're here with the owner. What's up, Jeremy? This has been 15 months yes. in the making. So anybody that's followed me for any length like of time knows that this man, like myself, was a 2018 Mustang GT owner mm -hmm. and 16 months ago we did the Corsa full exhaust on that car crazy loud sounded great <laughs> Love Corsa, links down below for discount codes. Whatever you wanna buy, we have discount codes beneath. Check them out. But, now that we've paid the bills. <laughs> so 16 months ago, we did a Corsa cat back on yours and then a month later, we ripped it off. And this is why. Yes. This is why. So, 15 months ago, this was ordered, custom ordered, from James Corlew, Chevrolet, Clarksville, Tennessee. I actually used to work there. Great place to shop. But, yeah, we did film the delivery and the camera dumped the footage. So, I apologize. But, you are a blue collar guy, truck driver, obviously. Yeah. So how, how is this possible? And uh, have you always been interested in Corvettes? I have never, ever been a Corvette guy. Really? When I was young, my dad had a C3 Corvette in 1971. Gotcha. It rode like trash. Okay. It felt like your butt was dragging on the ground riding on plywood. Well, uh, now that we've, we've upset all of the OG Corvette guys out there, I apologize for that. We'll just... Yes kidding we'll keep yeah. it going so this is your but, story we want to hear yeah. it absolutely I mean ever since I was six I saw a 66 fastback Mustang gotcha I want one but I'm an 80s kid who didn't have a picture of a Lamborghini Countach on their window exactly or a Ferrari I know I, yeah I, I did I had a that bunch red one I mean or you watched Miami Vice and Don Johnson was driving around in a white Ferrari Testarossa yep it was a mid-engine car something nobody thought a blue collar guy could have and then Chevy comes out with this. Yep. And I'm like, I'm a diehard Mustang guy, but you gotta give credit to when it's due, to where it's due. This is yellow, guys, but in person it's not. It's like a highlighter yellow. It's got metallic in the paint, not only in what we see here with the black, but also in the paint color here. So they're calling this Accelerate Yellow. It is an exclusive two Corvette just like the rapid blue, another 2020 color. Yeah, we got a little backstory here. We're both Mustang fans. I'm a longtime Corvette fan. I don't own one yet. Maybe with your help, we might. <laughs> Jeremy here. I've known him for a while. You deserve it, man. You deserve yeah. every bit of this. So. Ah, uh, he gets to enjoy it for his whole life if he keeps it along. We are going to enjoy it over the next week and make a lot of content because we already have mods in the garage, my garage, ready to go on. Do you have a name for this? No. I'm just going to call it the Yellow Vet? Yeah, pretty much. All right, cool. So we have some cool first mods getting ready to go on this thing. So we got to get the 500 mile break-in period done and it's ready to party after that. So things and pictures don't necessarily look the same in person. So I want to show you a couple of these details that I picked up on and why I think this thing is a piece of art. Let's go. Oh, it's pretty light. First time taking the roof off. Look at this now. 
Look at this. We got some Targa roof action here. That looks really cool. Yeah, no, I, I, I like them. I think they look fine. I mean, just put 22s on it or some 38s or something crazy. Some spinners. Do some spinners. <laughs> so what they're calling the front now, the front trunk. There's a button to get to it from the inside, the key fob, and right under here. That still looks freaking amazing. That is beautiful, man. Wow. This color, I can't get over it. I don't know why people want to hate on the C8 Corvette. I get it, it's approaching, it's aimed and targeted towards maybe possibly a different a different demographic such as younger guys like myself. I'm 35, he's a couple years older, but I mean, you gotta sit back and just mesmerize in the artistic work that Chevrolet has put into this amazing machine. I mean, it's absolutely just gorgeous. So you got the button down here, opens up, nice heavy doors. And look at this interior. This is some of the subtleties that pictures just don't really pick up quite well. See all the intricate design, the folds, the curves. I kind of feel like I need a pilot's license to like operate this vehicle. This is a 2LT trim. Z51 makes 495 horsepower. Eight speed dual clutch transmission, and I'm telling you, it's the truth. I have a lot of seat time in the new 2020 Mustang GT. It's great. It's just a little too Mustang. I kind of feel like they should have built the GT500, honestly, on the next chassis, the S650. But Ford did a good job. It handles very well, it performs very well. But something about the Corvette, just from the couple of days we've had this already, we still gotta break it in with the 500 miles. But, I mean, wow. Check this I've out. I've never ridden in a car that's as smooth as this car. It is very smooth. The magnetic ride, the feeling you get from this car, very planted, very nimble. Of course, we're gonna do a driving review, so subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I really appreciate it, it helps us grow. And turn post notifications on because we're gonna have fun with this all week long. Again, first modifications already sitting in the garage, ready to go. It's gonna really wake up this car, get ready. It's gonna be exciting. I don't know if you really even need the GT2 seats. I mean, it's, I think they fit about the same. It's just kind of a different look. It's, yeah, post army belly here, but, um, yeah, the side bolstering is plenty, plenty, and they do move. They're adjustable. They're adjustable, that's correct. Yellow seat belts, how cool is that? Here's your splash screen, check this out. That is so neat, man. It's almost like looking at one big screen. It comes across and then over here as well. Everything is very driver-centric. I'm leaning back as far as I can, but everything is very focused towards the driver as you'd expect in a Corvette. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> there we go. Woo! I was going into the dash there for a second. So, we're gonna turn the air down. That's how that works right there. If you have never driven in a DCT, a dual clutch transmission, it is life changing. It's very fast, very fast, um, breathtaking. But, but, this is my first time playing with the controls here. So, park. Reverse, you're gonna pull up on these, push down for neutral, and same with drive. So for example, we'll go to reverse, and right there it is, and then we can go back to park by pushing a button, or you can just simply turn this off and it goes back to park on its own. To go to your drive modes, the exhaust note changes when I do that. Uh, he does have the front leveling. You don't have to scrape up the front end. You guys are watching the Xander 13 YouTube channel. How cool is it that we have a Z mode? So you could be in normal drive, as I understand that correct, and then if you want to, you know, get a little aggressive, you just push this button, and then you are off to beat whoever is next to you. Yes. Very clean display. You can change, of course, all of this that you're looking at to really customize your driving experience. I love it. That's aggressive. I like that. It does need more loud. Video coming soon, get ready. More loud is coming. You know what look really good? A couple of twin turbos sitting up here. And then you might be able to keep up with my Mustang. I'll accelerate your Mustang at this. <laughs> uh, well, not on a racetrack you won't. <laughs> but we can put that to the test. We'll just rip my turbo kit off and put it on this car, how about that? So by the way, 
Hell Horse Performance for twin turbo kits for your Mustang. Uh, we need to maybe develop something for this. I think there's a market there, so Jeff, when you watch this. Corsa exhaust would sound killer on this too. Yeah. Again, links down below for uh, discount codes. So this thing is just so fire, bro. Also, first drive video coming up. We do want to unlock the 500 miles. He wanted me to drive it. I told him no, not till it was unlocked because I want a full set in this car. <laughs> but again, as always, appreciate you watching every single one of you out there and I will see you in the next video. We're gonna go have some fun, but I want all of you guys out there to have a great day. I'll see you later. Let's put it in track and make some noise. There you go. First pull. Oh, we're gonna do it again. First the first pull, let's do a second one. Let's do it. Oh, uh, you're really backing up. He's about to really full send this car. That was only half less than half throttle. She gets it. Short shifting, of course. There we go. Feel a little pull. Yes. Oh the brakes! Oh my god. Wow. Holy shit. That stops. That's impressive. That is that is impressive. This week is gonna be fun, guys. Get ready. That was from 70 miles an hour to a stop. I'm living. <laughs> I do. <laughs>